Rick Santorum's not done yet. He gets even dumber at CPAC. We went out and talked about focusing on those who are working Americans. Notice I didn't say middle class. I don't know why we do this, fellow conservatives and Republicans. Why do we believe, why do we use a term, I should say, that, that is of the other side? Why do we, as Republicans, who believe in the dignity of every human life, who believe in equality of opportunity for everyone to rise, adopt a class envy leftist language that divides America against themselves? Classes in America? Do we really accept the fact there are classes in America? Then why do we use that term? Why do we adopt their language? We have to stop that. We have to stop acting like them and somehow feeling we can reach out to folks. We should use the term working Americans because unlike them, we believe work is a good thing. Their stuff is so easy to respond to, it makes me yearn for a more difficult challenge. This is child's play to respond to Rick Santorum because his points are so tremendously idiotic. So let's go through point by point here. Classes don't exist, Rick. Really? He, say, he said that. Really? Classes in America? Oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Classes are a real thing. Some people make $5,000 a year. That would be lower class or poor. Some people make $45,000, $52,000 a year. That would be middle class. Some people make $3 million a year. That would be rich or upper class. It's called mathematics. It's called numbers. It's called classifying things. But he's like flabbergasted at that idea. What do you mean? A homeless person is exactly the same as Sheldon Adelson, who made $3 billion while he was taking a shit earlier today. Really? They're not different classes? It's, it's so childish. Well, we want to use the term working American. No, no, no. I love this part is my favorite. He says, the term middle class divides Americans. So apparently it divides Americans to point out facts. Yes, facts are quite divisive from time to time. The term middle class divides Americans. And then, like, two sentences later, he says, Democrats don't believe in work. And you're going to talk about what divides Americans? Motherfucker, you just divided Americans. You said Democrats don't believe in work. That's not divisive? That's the most divisive thing I've ever heard in my life. And by the way, it's not even close to true. See, he argues from ridiculous caricatures and stereotypes of the left. We've talked about this before. The idea that somehow we all wake up in the morning and say, Oh, fuck it, man. Give me a joint. And then you light up and watch reruns of Gilligan's Island. But that's not life. What is the unemployment rate right now in America? 6.6%? 6.8%? So over 90% of the American people are working? Who's lazy? Who's left to be lazy? And even if you go by the what's called the real unemployment rate, which is the higher one, it's still about 10% or 11%. So about 90% of the American people are working. Lazy my ass. 50, about 50% 50 of the, of the population are Republicans and 50% are Democrats. No matter how you slice it or dice it, math shows that both groups of people aren't not working. They're not lazy. They're not sitting on their couch. And then furthermore, of everybody that's unemployed... A majority of them are looking for work and they care deeply about trying to get their life back on track and finding employment and all that stuff. And then on top of that, when you go state by state and look at who, uh, what states are the biggest receivers of federal tax dollars, okay? So which ones are the bigger parasites or moochers, if I'm using their language? The red states. The blue states are the biggest net taxpayers. So it's not, it's... It's a ridiculous notion that the left is anti-work. I mean, if that were the case, the fraud rate in the different social safety net programs would be like 80%, 90%. And what is the fraud rate? Take social security disability, for example. That's one of the biggest ones the right complains about. The fraud rate is 1%. That's not me speaking. That's a study from the USDA speaking. Okay. I mean, same thing with uh, food stamps. They was all, oh, food stamps, they're cheating the system, yeah. 1% fraud rate. 
I'm sorry, but his entire belief system is fucking horse shit.